Astra, India's frontline air-to-air missile, has just become more indigenous and more capable with the successful test of its in-house RF seeker. The Astra missile, India's first beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile, has now been successfully tested with an indigenous radio frequency RF seeker. On the surface, it might sound like a routine technological milestone, but in reality, this single component transforms the Astra from a powerful missile to a strategically autonomous weapon system. Until now, the Astra relied on foreign-made RF seekers, sensitive electronic eyes that allow the missile to lock onto enemy aircraft in the final stages of flight. These seekers are critical. Without them, a missile is blind during the most crucial phase when it has to differentiate a target from decoys, jammers or complex aerial clutter. With this indigenous seeker developed by DRDO, India no longer has to depend on imported tech for the most vital part of the missile. That's not just a supply chain win, it's an independence boost for India's entire air-to-air -air strike capability. But the bigger picture lies in what this enables next. The Astra missile family is modular. Its range can exceed 100 kilometers, it's compatible with multiple fighter platforms, and its electronic systems can be customized for different roles. Now, with a homegrown RF seeker in hand, India can scale this missile family to meet very specific needs. Longer range variants, smarter ECCM electronic countermeasures, and even air-to-air -air missiles for naval aviation use. In a combat scenario, this brings multiple benefits. First, it increases platform flexibility. Now India can arm its Su-30 MKIs, LCA Tejas, and eventually the AMCA with a truly indigenous BVR missile that doesn't require any foreign subsystem integration. That shortens maintenance cycles, reduces integration overheads, and improves mission readiness. Second, it significantly reduces vulnerability to export controls and geopolitical bottlenecks. If tomorrow a foreign country decides to halt seeker exports due to a policy shift, India's air-to-air -air capability stays unaffected. This is particularly important when fighter aircraft might be imported, but the missile systems must remain fully sovereign. Third, it makes Astra a viable export product. Without imported subsystems, India can now offer this missile to friendly nations without requiring clearance from third-party suppliers. In regions like Southeast Asia or Africa, where countries are seeking alternatives to Western and Chinese arms, a fully indigenous Indian BVR missile offers an attractive proposition, both technologically and diplomatically. But perhaps the most critical impact is doctrinal. With a reliable proven RF seeker, India's air combat doctrine can finally shift toward more aggressive BVR posturing. Until now, India's BVR inventory, though capable, was not fully under its control. With the indigenous Astra now combat proven in all core subsystems, Indian fighter squadrons can train, simulate and deploy tactics without second-guessing their missiles' limitations. It also enables joint development with private industry. Over 50 public and private entities contributed to this seeker, reflecting a maturing defense industrial base. This makes future upgrades like dual-mode seekers or even AI-assisted target discrimination not just possible but likely. So what appears to be a technical development is in truth a foundational shift. The seeker may be small, but its presence makes Astra a different class of weapon, a truly sovereign BVR missile aligned with India's broader goal of strategic autonomy. And in today's world, where air superiority can swing the outcome of entire conflicts, owning every line of code, every sensor and every screw in a missile system is not just smart, it's necessary. India hasn't just tested a missile, it's tested the future of its air defense posture and it passed.